Well, we got some bad storms, but we still managed to get some hunting in. Well, welcome to Finding America. It's really great to see you here. Now, this past week, I received some pictures from Chris in South Carolina wearing his favorite Finding America shirt, and I just had to share them with you. Well, thanks so much for sending me those pictures, Chris. They were really cool. And I'm really glad you're enjoying your Finding America shirt, and I really appreciate you helping to support the channel. Now, if you'd like to send me pictures of yourself in your favorite Finding America attire, or even using your Finding America drop cloth, you can send them to me at my email, findingamerica01 at gmail.com, and I'll be more than happy to get them in a future Finding America episode. Well, there's one other very special thing that I really wanted to share with you guys. Last week, Kelly came informed me that Finding America had been selected as a recipient of the 2019 Golden Digger Award. Now this award is given to the VIP test team member that Kelico felt best represented the hobby, Kelico, and their company values in 2019. So they contacted Eric at Grave Digger Tools and had him make a custom ordered sidekick digger and they had it powder coated in a special gold metallic color. Well I got it the other day and it is gorgeous. I have to say it's so gorgeous that it's never going to touch the dirt. I'm just going to display this one with great pride. So I really wanted to thank everyone at Kelico for this. And I also especially wanted to thank Eric. Uh, you did a great job on this. And you are definitely a top-notch craftsman. And I'd say this is really an awesome piece. But honestly, most of all, I wanted to thank you guys, the ones watching right now. Uh, without you guys, this channel wouldn't be possible. And uh, I really sincerely appreciate it. Well, we had a very wicked storm that came through this weekend, and we really didn't think we were going to be able to get out to detect. But we did manage to find some time on Sunday after the storm passed for a short hunt. And we had a really fun time as always, and Chris made some really nice finds. Now for me, uh, have you ever just had one of those days when you just couldn't get your head in the game? Well, that was the case for me that day. Uh, I made some nice finds, but it really just wasn't going to be my day. Now, despite the limited time we had to hunt that day, we actually made some really nice finds. So, with that said, I really hope you enjoy this video. Well, this turned out to be my first signal of the day. It rang in at 19. Honestly, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to film it just in case it's something interesting. But it appears to have a crescent moon and the logo says G and B. It's really ornate. Some type of a... It's not foil, maybe aluminum or something, but very unusual. I don't know. I'm hoping I can figure this one out, but pretty neat find, and uh, just wanted to share that with you. Well, I'll tell you what, I really like that piece, but I have no idea what it is. And if you have an idea, please let me know down in the comments below. Well, Chris has his first good target, and uh, ooh, I think she's an Indian. Sure looks like it. Oh, yeah. And bait on it. <clears throat> Let's see. Yep, right Traffic. Next to the road. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it looks pretty worn. Um, boy, it's hard to tell. Oh, it is worn. Might have to... Uh, We're going to work on this, and uh, I'll be right back, and we'll yeah. pick it. Well, hopefully you can see it. It might be a little hard to see. It's definitely worn, and we believe it's an 1883. Looks like a three at the end, yeah. So that is sweet. That's a heck of a nice little target yeah, to start off with. Far, yeah. Very nice. How deep was that? Yeah, three inches, maybe. Wow, that's awesome. Well, hopefully there's more. Well, I just got done digging a 41 wheat. I didn't film it, but uh, got another 24 signal, and uh, appears I have another wheat, but check it out. It's on edge inside the plug, and uh, eh, about four inches, maybe five. I'll go ahead and pluck it. Uh, 
that's pretty cool. Looks to be another 40s weedy. So we'll put that one in the pouch and keep on going. Well, Chris is back on the board. Looks like a buffalo. Sweet. Not oh, too yeah. far from where that Indian was. Yeah. Very nice. It looks like it's gonna be pretty nice looking actually. Yeah, we had a lot of rain yesterday and it's a bit muddy. <clears throat> yeah, sinking. I don't know if we'll get a date off of her, but all right, it's well, been a minute for me for a buffalo. Definitely. Yeah. Very cool, man. I'll give you a quick look at him before we put him in the box, but it looks to be a no date, but it doesn't matter. Digging up a buffalo is always awesome. Nice chocolatey color on it. Yep. I'll get it cleaned up, give you a better look at it. Well, Chris and I moved on to another permission we have. We have a old GI Bill house built in 1945, but it's on top of a hill in Knoxville. So we're hoping maybe a little bit of Civil War action, but <laughs> I got a nice view. I got a little bit of war action right now, but it's of a different variety. <laughs> First signal, dug down. I got a silver war nickel. <laughs> Look at it, sweet. <laughs> I'll tell you what. What's that? The fourth one in two weeks? Ooh, yeah, yeah, they've been popping, man. Forty-five last year. I'll be darn. And uh, this one's going to be a Denver. We don't get that very often. Yeah. So how about that? Um, that makes my day. I like that. Good sign. Very good sign. Well, next target was ringing in. Give me a 24. Pretty deep, about 8 inches. And uh, I wiped it off, but I've got a uh, 1940 Weedy. So that's pretty cool. A couple 40s coins. And uh, I didn't notice, but uh, the silver nickel I got is from the year the house was built, 1945. That was kind of cool. Well, I had another 24, 25, about 6 inches. And uh, this time it's going to be a 48 Weedy. So we are definitely sticking right around when this house is built in the 40s. <laughs> well, this was my next signal ringing in at a 14. I found this after I found a, about four or five more Wheaties. But uh, some type of a snap, but it says Universal Chicago. I've never really seen that one before. It was about uh, four or five inches down and uh, lying on edge. So Knox did a really nice job picking that up. Well, next thing was ringing up high. And uh, I remember last video, someone left a comment saying, what, no toy cars in the last video? So, ah, uh, there you go. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I've got a nice little Mercedes race car, Hot Wheels. Not too old, but pretty cool. Well, next signal, kind of cool. It was ringing in like an Indian. It was way down there, about eight inches. It was a pretty cool piece of ornamental metal. I have no idea what it went to, but uh, pretty fancy. I thought I'd show that to you. Chris called me over. Got some, oh, that is cool. Deco, maybe? You got an old padlock? Yeah. Not bad. Looks 30s, 40s. Yeah, it's got some heft to it. Yeah, definitely heavy. Huh. Let me rub it off here. Heck. See anything? Yeah. Well, I still can't quite make it out, but I'll get it cleaned up, give you a better shot of it. But that's a cool find, man. Yeah, that's neat. Well, we are still in this tiny little Victorian park, and uh, we just decided, heck, we're gonna stick to this and dig everything. Oh, and I'm, I'm tired, he's tired, but I think he's got something really, really cool. It's paying off finally, look at that thing. All right, let me get a shot of that. <clears throat> Check that out, it's some sort of brooch. It may be cloisonne. Go ahead, man. Let's see what kind of, want some water? Oh it God. is a peacock. It's a peacock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look at it shining up, man. How freaking beautiful is that? Oh. Wow. Oh. What is this? I don't know. You need to spray it off because <clears throat> that's going to be beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
Look at that. Look at it shining up, man. Dude, that is like one of the best Cloisonite brooches I've ever seen. That is beautiful. Wow. <clears throat> Holy cow. Look at it shining. It's <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Boy, that thing's been down there a bit. Yes. Look at that. Peacock with the feathers. It's a weird slide on the back. Yeah, I don't know what the... I'll have to get it cleaned up, but boy, oh boy. Oh, maybe it's Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah. But what an incredible piece, man. All the wow. way in the back corner of this little park. Yeah. Uh, not very deep, huh? Well, it Four was... Four or five? It's all these roots back here. Yeah, five, six inches. Rang up pretty nice. Dude, that's amazing. That is pretty. Oh. <laughs> that makes my day, and I didn't even find it. <laughs> Well, this thing was actually high toning for me. It's bouncing between 25 and 28. I dug way down. It's kind of cool. Took me a while, but uh, we think it's an old combination lock. And uh, yeah, you can see where the hasp would have uh, swung over to this side here. But combination locks went all the way back to 1912. And uh, that one definitely looks like a very old one. Well, I'm telling you what, last week, I had a great week. This week, Chris is killing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to film Chris. Yeah. Hey, boy. It's another brooch, man. Oh, man. Look at that one, though. That's beautiful. I brushed it. There is some kind of leaf pattern on it. There sure is. Wow. Isn't that great? Yeah, I can see that. That one ring up in the uh, 60s. I think it's 63. Wow. Pretty low. Whew, I'll tell you what, the Victorian ladies were sitting around this part of the park, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is awesome. I'll tell you what, that Cloisonnet brooch, I'm still thinking about that one. That is beautiful. Yeah. Well, this is kind of cool. Here's like this little kind of border here. And uh, there's the old tree behind me. And I got a 19, kept digging, kept digging. Got down about eight, nine inches. I finally felt something and I pulled and check it out. That is a big old spoon. Very cool. Ah, nothing wrong with getting an old spoon, I tell you that. Let me uh Wow, that definitely has some age to it. Very cool. I like it. So that's nice. Oh, it's got some nice uh fancy design down the center too. Look at that. Not bad. Might be able to date this one. See what kind of hallmarks it has on the back, but very happy with that. Cool find. Yeah, Chris found kind of an interesting piece. Clock gear, or what do you call it? Clock frame? Yeah, it's like one of the inner frames. Oh, yeah. Supports the gears. I kind of brushed it up. I didn't see any names yet, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Might have been a mantle, mantle clock. Yeah. In the shape of it. Yeah, it's got some age to it. Well, I guess it's Chris's turn for a toy car. This one's a little bit newer. That's cool, though. That's, uh, what's his name? Richard Petty. Yeah, Richard Petty's car, but it's from Disney. Kind That's of a from newer the, one. Uh, Cars movie, huh? Yeah. I see the eyes here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a 70 Plymouth Superbird. Lightyear tires. Dynaco, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. That's a big one, man. Yeah, I actually like that. That's really cool. Well, it was a short hunt that day, resulting in a short video this week. But sometimes that's just how metal detecting goes. But, as always, I have some great historical photos from our country's illustrious past coming up in just a few seconds, so I hope you'll stick around for those. And remember, it's history that makes that find a treasure. And I can't wait to see you back here next week on Finding America.